Okay, we're here with Suresh Vital, who's the Chief Product Officer at Altrix, and Adam Wilson, the CEO of Trifecta, now, of course, part of Altrix. Just closed this quarter. Gentlemen, welcome. Great to be here. Okay, Suresh, let me start with you. In my opening remarks, I talked about Altrix's traditional position serving business analysts and how the Hyperana acquisition brought you deeper into the, the business user space. What does Trifacta bring to your portfolio? Why'd you buy the company? Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the question. Um, you know, we see a we see a massive opportunity of helping um, brands um, democratize the use of analytics across uh, their business. Um, every knowledge worker, every individual in the company should have access to analytics. It's no longer optional um, as they navigate uh, their businesses. With that in mind, you know we know designer and our, the products that Altrix has been selling the past decade or so uh, do, do a really great job um, addressing the business analysts. Uh, with um, Hyperana, uh, now kind of uh, renamed um, um, Altrix Auto Insights, uh, we even speak with the uh, business owner, the line of business owner, who's looking for insights that aren't revealed in traditional dashboards and so on. Um, but we see this opportunity of really helping the data engineering teams and IT organizations um, to also make better use of analytics. Um, and that's where Trifecta comes in for us. Um, Trifecta has the best data engineering cloud in the planet. Um, they have an established track record of working across multiple cloud platforms and helping data engineers um, do better data pipelining and work better with uh, this massive kind of cloud transformation um, that's happening in every business. Um, and so Trifecta made so much sense for us. Yeah, thank you for that. I mean, look, you could have built it yourself, would have taken, you know, who knows how long, you know, but uh, so definitely a great time to market move. Adam, I wonder if we could dig into Trifecta some more. I mean, I remember interviewing Joe Hellerstein in the early days. You've talked about this as well on, uh, on theCUBE, coming at the problem of taking data from raw, refined to an experience point of view. And, and, and Joe, in the early days, talked about flipping the model and starting with data visualization, something Jeff Herr was expert at. So maybe explain how we got here. We used to have this cumbersome process of ETL, and you maybe, and some others, changed that model with you know, EL and then T. Explain how Trifecta really changed the data engineering game. Yeah, that's, that's exactly right, uh, Dave. And it, it's been a really interesting journey for us because I think the original hypothesis coming out of the campus research uh, at Berkeley and Stanford that really birthed Trifecta was, you know, why is it that the people who know the data best can't do the work? You know, why has this become the exclusive purview of the highly technical? And, you know, can we rethink this and make this uh, a user experience problem powered by machine learning that will take some of the more complicated things that people want to do with data and really help to automate those. So, so uh, a broader set of, of users can, um, can really see for themselves and help themselves. And, and I think that um, there was a lot of pent up frustration out there because people have been told for, you know, for a decade now to be more data driven. And then the whole time they're saying, well, then give me the data, you know, in the shape that I can use it with the right level of quality and I'm happy to be, but don't tell me to be more data driven and they'll, don't then and, and not empower me um, to, to get in there and to actually start to work with the data in meaningful ways. And so um, that was really, you know, what, you know, the origin story of the company. And I think as, as we um, you know, saw over the course of the last five, six, seven years that, um, you know, a real uh, excitement to embrace this idea of, of trying to think about data engineering differently, trying to democratize the, the ETL process and to also leverage all these exciting new uh, engines and platforms that are out there that allow for, you know, processing, you know, ever more diverse data sets, ever larger data sets in new and interesting ways. And that's where a lot of the push down or the ELT approaches, uh, you know, I think have really won the day. Um, and that, and that for us was a hallmark of the solution from the very beginning. Yeah, this is a huge point that you're making. This is, first of all, there's a large business, it's probably about a hundred billion dollar TAM. Uh, and, and the, the point you're making, we've, look, we've contextualized most of our operational systems, but the big data pipeline is, hasn't gotten there. But, but, and, and maybe we could talk about that a little bit because democratizing data is nirvana, but it's been historically very difficult. You've got a number of companies, it's very fragmented and they're all trying to attack their little piece of the problem to achieve an outcome, but it's been hard. 
And so what's going to be different about Alteryx as you bring these puzzle pieces together? How is this going to impact your customers? Who would like to take that one? Yeah, maybe maybe I'll take a crack at it and, and Adam will um, add on. Um, you know, there hasn't been, Dave, a single platform uh, for analytics automation in the enterprise, right? People have relied on uh, different products um, to solve kind of uh, smaller problems um, across this analytics automation data transformation domain. Um, and um, I think uniquely Alteryx has that opportunity. Uh, we've got 7,000 plus customers who rely on analytics for um, data management, for analytics, for AI and ML, uh, for transformations, uh, for reporting and visualization, for automated insights and so on. Um, and so by bringing Trifecta, we have the opportunity to scale this even further and solve for more use cases, expand the scenarios where analytics gets applied and serve multiple personas. Um, and now and we just talked about the data engineers. They are really a growing stakeholder in this transformation of data and analytics. Yeah, good. Maybe we can stay on this for a minute because you, you, you're right. You're bringing together now at least three personas, the business analyst, the end user slash business user, and now the data engineer which is really, Adam, an IT role in a lot of companies. And, and you've used this term, the data engineering cloud. What is that? How is it going to integrate in, in with or support these other personas? And, and how's it going to integrate into the broader ecosystem of, of clouds and cloud data warehouses or any other data stores? Yeah, no, that's great. Uh, you know, I think for us, we really looked at this and said, you know, we want to build an open and interactive, you know, cloud platform for data engineers, you know, to collaboratively profile pipeline um, and prepare data for analysis. And, and that really meant collaborating with the analysts that were in the line of business. And so this is why uh, a big reason why this combination is so magic, because ultimately, if we can get the data engineers that are creating the data products together with the analysts that are uh, in the line of business that are driving a lot of the decision-making and allow for that, uh, what I would describe as collaborative curation, you know, of the data together so that you're starting to see, um, uh, you know, increasing returns to scale as this, uh, as this rolls out. I just think that is an incredibly uh, powerful combination and, and frankly, something that the market is not Crack the code on yet, and so um, I think when we when I sat down with Suresh and with Mark and and the team at, at Altrix, that was really part of the, the the big idea, the big vision that that was painted and and got us really energized um, about the acquisition and about the the potential of the combination. Yeah, and you're really you're obviously riding the cloud and the cloud native wave, um, and and but specifically we're seeing. You know, I almost don't even want to call it a data warehouse anyway, because when you look at what, for instance, Snowflake is doing, of course their marketing is around the data cloud, but I, I actually think there's real justification for that because it's not like the traditional data warehouse, right? It's, it's simplified, get there fast, don't necessarily have to go through this central organization to share data, uh, and, 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 but it's really all about simplification, right? Isn't that really what the democratization comes down to? Yeah, it's, it's simplification and collaboration, right? I don't want to, I want to kind of just, um, what, what Adam said resonates with me deeply. Um, analytics is one of those uh, massive disciplines inside an enterprise that's really had the weakest of tools um, and weakest of interfaces to collaborate with. And I think truly this was Alteryx's kind of superpower was helping the analysts get more out of their data, get more out of the analytics. Like imagine a world where these people are collaborating and sharing insights in real time and sharing workflows and getting access to new data sources, um, understanding data models better. I think um, uh, curating those insights, I'm borrowing Adam's phrase again, um, I think that creates uh, a real value inside the organization uh, because frankly, in scaling analytics and democratizing analytics and data, we're still in such early phases of this journey. So how should we think about designer cloud, which is from Alteryx? It's really been the on-prem or the server or desktop you know, offering. And of course, Trifecta is about cloud, cloud data warehouses, right? Uh, uh, how, how should we think about those two products? Yeah, I think, I think you should think about them and. Uh, 
um, as, as very complementary, right? Designer Cloud really shares a lot of DNA and heritage with uh, Designer Desktop. Um, the low code tooling and that interface uh, that really appeals to the business analysts um, and gets a lot of the things that they do well. We've also built it with interoperability in mind, right? So if you started building your workflows in Designer Desktop, you want to share that with Designer Cloud, we want to make it super easy for you to do that. Um, and I think over time now, we're only a week into um, this uh, alliance with, um, with um, Trifacta. Um, I think we have to get deeper and start to think about what does the data engineer really need, what does the business analyst really need, and how to design a cloud and Trifactor really support both of those requirements uh, while kind of continue to build on the Trifecta, on the amazing Trifactor cloud platform. You know, and I think that's, go ahead, Adam. I, think that's, I was just going to say, I think that's one of the things that um, you know creates a lot of uh, opportunity as we go forward because ultimately, you know, Trifacta took a platform. Uh, first mentality to everything that we built. So thinking about openness and extensibility and um, and how over time people could build things on top of Trifacta that are a variety of analytic tool chain or analytic applications. And so uh, when you think about um, Altrix now starting to, uh, to move some of its capabilities or to provide additional capabilities uh, in the cloud, um, you know, Trifacta becomes uh, a, a platform that can accelerate, you know, all of that work and, and create a, a, a cohesive set of, of cloud-based services that um, share a common platform and that maintains independence because both companies um, have been, uh, you know, fiercely independent uh, in, in really giving people choice. Um, so making sure that whether you're uh, you know, picking one cloud platform or another, whether you're running things on the desktop, uh, whether you're running in hybrid environments, that um, no matter what your decision, um, you're always in a position to be able to get at your data. You're always in a position to be able to cleanse, transform, shape, structure that data, and ultimately to deliver uh, the analytics that you need. And so I think in, in that sense, um, uh, you know, this, this again is another reason why the combination, you know, fits so well together, giving people um, the choice, um, and as they as they think about their analytics strategy and, and their platform strategy going forward. You know, I make you chuckle, but I, one of the reasons I always liked Altrix is because you kind of did, did a little end run on IT. IT can be a blocker sometimes, but that created problems, right? Because the organization said, wow, this big data stuff has taken off, but we need security, we need governance. And, and it's interesting because you got, you know, ET, ETL has been complex, whereas the visualization tools, they really, you know, really weren't great at governance and, and security. It took some time there. So that's not, not their heritage. You're bringing those worlds together. And I'm interested, you guys just had your sales kickoff. You know, what was their reaction like? Uh, maybe Suresh, you could start off and maybe Adam, you could bring us home. Yeah, um, thanks for asking about our sales kickoff. So we met uh, for the first time in kind of two years, right? For, as, as it is for many of us um, in person, uh, um, which I think was a was a real breakthrough as Altrix has been on its transformation journey. Uh, we had a trifecta to um, the the party, such as it were, um, and getting all of our sales teams and product organizations um, to meet in person in one location. I thought that was very powerful for us as a company. Uh, but then I tell you, um, um, the reception for trifecta was beyond anything I could have imagined. Uh, we were working, Adam and I were working so hard on, on the, the deal and the core hypotheses and so on. And then you step back and you kind of share the vision uh, with the field organization and it blows you away the energy that it creates among our um, sellers, our partners. Um, I'm sure Adam and his team were mobbed um, every single day uh, with questions and opportunities to bring them in. But Adam, maybe you should share. So yeah, no, it was... Uh... It was through the roof. I mean, uh, the uh, the amount of energy, the uh, when so certainly how welcoming everybody was. Uh, uh, you know, just I think the story makes so much sense together. I think culturally the companies are very aligned, um, and uh, it was a real uh, real capstone moment uh, to be able to complete the acquisition and to and to close and announce. You know, at the kickoff event, and um, I think you know for us. When we really thought about it, you know, when we and the story that we told was just you have this opportunity to really cater to what the end users, you know, care about, which is a lot about interactivity and self-service. 
And at the same time, and that's, and that's a lot of the goodness that, um, that Ultrix has, has brought, you know, through, you know, you know, years and years of, of building a very vibrant community of, you know, thousands, hundreds of thousands of users. And on the other side, you know, Trifacta bringing in this data engineering focus that's really about uh, the governance things that you mentioned and the openness um, that, that IT cares deeply about. And all of a sudden now you have a chance to put that together into a complete story where the data engineering cloud and analytics automation, you know, come together. And, um, and I just think, it, you know, the lights went on, um, you know, for people instantaneously. And, you know, this is a story that, um, that I think the market is really hungry for. And, and certainly the reception we got from, uh, from the broader team at kickoff was, uh, was a great indication of that. Well, I think the story hangs together really well. You know, one of the better ones I've seen in, in this space. Uh, and, and you guys coming off a really, really strong quarter. So congratulations on that. Gents, we have to leave it there. Really appreciate your time today. Yeah. Take a look at this short video. And when we come back, we're going to dig into the ecosystem and the integration into cloud data warehouses and how leading organizations are creating modern data teams and accelerating their digital businesses. You're watching theCUBE, your leader in enterprise tech coverage.